inspiration and through the work earth blood shall run there can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one for the union makes us strong is there aught we hold in common as a lay reporter traveling the south I like to visit Civil War battlefields like these and remember the over 600,000 who gave their life for the right to collectively bargain. Uh, we're here today at Fort Stevens, where on July 11th and July 12th, 1864, over 800 casualties here fell. You know, we've forgotten so much of our Civil War history as well as our Civil Rights history, and we need to remember it because it's a kind of history that can inspire us as a nation, what we can do to organize the South. In 1969, Men from the docks teamed up with black women nurses that were marching all over the city for the right to collectively bargain at the Medical University of South Carolina. Coretta Scott King even came down and led those marches a year after her husband was killed in Memphis for marching with striking sanitation workers carrying the sign, I am a man. 50 years later, workers at the Medical University of South Carolina still don't have collective bargain. And we gotta do something about it. You know, we gotta fulfill the legacy of Coretta Scott King. The South is one of the fastest growing regions for union membership in the United States. Last year alone, Tennessee picked up 12,000 union members, Mississippi 10,000, North Carolina gained 6,000, and Kentucky and Georgia both gained 3,000, while Maryland gained another 23,000 union members. The South is organized, but no one's telling that story. And if we want organizing to keep happening, we have to do that. We have to tell the story of Southern union organizing. And that's what Payday Report is about. See, I was fired as a union organizer in the right to work state of Virginia when I worked at Politico. I know what it's like to be in a toxic, anti-union environment. As a result of the settlement I won from Politico, I was able to start my own publication, Payday Report. And now the publication is sustained by readers like you. And we need your help as readers to do more. We were just in Nashville, Tennessee, where Payday was the only publication to report on the electrocution death of Sergio Gutierrez. Nashville is one of the fastest growing cities in America. Zillow just said it has the hottest housing market in America. And yet the average wage of construction workers in Nashville is just $14 an hour. Worse, it's one of the most dangerous cities in the South. According to a recent study by the Partnership for Working Families, it is the most dangerous city in the South. And as we saw with Sergio Gutierrez's death, something has to be done. KDA wants to cover how the city of Nashville can get more involved in ensuring that Nashville is a safe city and that workers that are building projects there will be making union wages. I know how much media coverage means to help people organize. See, I was a shop steward at Politico during the union drive. And when we started that drive, the Washington Post wrote an article making fun of us entitled, Why Don't Internet Journalists Organize? The Washington Post said that we could never do it, it would never happen, and that I was just some crazy Yinzer labor reporter from a Pittsburgh Union family. And in less than two years, we organized 17 outlets, and we got a first contract at the Huffington Post, which gave some people as much as a $15,000 a year raise. Every worker deserves that level of coverage that I and so many others in the digital unionization movement got. We have to scale that. We have to hire more labor reporters. You know, payday is starting off small right now. We're just you know, a one and a half person shop. We're a publication about workers, funded by workers, and we want to treat workers well, and we hope over the years to expand and cover everything that's happening. So give to Payday and host a house party. We rely on regular folks to help us raise money wherever we go. All right, this past winter, we asked our readers to help us raise $5,000. We were able to raise $6,000. With the extra money, we were able to buy this car here for $800 off of Judge Wayne Hansen in Pennsylvania. He's a retired judge who was a Bernie delegate. Hansen sold us this car back in March, and since then, we've put over 8,000 miles on it. We've been down to Canton, Mississippi to cover the historic 5,000-person march on Mississippi against Nissan. We were in Huntsville, Alabama, where we showed how indivisible activists, even in the Deep South, are having an effect. We were in Louisville, where we showed how a new Democratic Party is forming in the South, one that embraces organized labor. 
We were in North Carolina, where we talked with black workers that were frustrated by laws that prevented majority black cities from passing their own minimum wage requirements. We were down in South Carolina, covering the story of the Boeing defeat and the bounce back. And so we want to keep this car on the road. We want to take it out to a lot of places all over the South and tell stories of what folks are doing. All we need is gas money and a place to sleep. We do our fundraising grassroots style. We do barbecues, small chicken dinners. I'll show up anywhere. We have to organize the South in order to win as a group. And Payday wants to help do that. And we need readers like you, because we're a publication by workers, funded by workers, about workers, and we're run in the voice of workers. So help us expand. Help us keep telling the story. This summer, we're trying to raise $10,000. Last winter, we raised about $6,000. And we're hoping with $10,000, we can expand more. We can do more videos. We can do more Boss Talk podcasts. We just started a podcast with University of Wyoming labor law professor, Mike Duff. He was a former Teamster shop steward who worked for an airline before going to night school and eventually getting into Harvard Law and working at the NLRB. He's a fascinating guy. And we're exploring every week how workers in the South can use legal strategies to win. Uh, we're trying to do so much. We just cut a Spanish language syndication deal with LGIA out of Louisville. And now P Payday is going to be in Spanish. We're doing partnerships with African American newspapers. Help us expand our reach. Help us grow as an organization, as a publication, and build the kind of publication the South really needs. So help Payday. Help us organize the South. Help us build a new future for the whole country. We can break their haughty power, gain our freedom when we learn that the union makes us strong.